There you go. See? This is exactly what Pat Condell, Richard Dawkins, and I here in America are talking about. These freaky Muslims like you get on and say crap like you do about all this stuff that you're talking about are the things that your people tend to feel that they have the right to do. And they can treat their women this way. Why else would you cover them up? Because you haven't got any brains. You haven't got any real desire of your own. You know, you, you just... You cover them up because you feel like they're going to seduce you and force you to rape them. That is the most ignorant slop I've ever heard in my life. Why do you think we don't want to follow your Sharia law? And uh, I'm amazed that Britain is allowing you people to govern yourselves that way. I'm just amazed. Pat, Mr. Condell, please, please keep making videos. Say whatever you need to say. You are one of the most intelligent men I've ever heard in my life. You need to come over here and talk to Obama. I really wish you would come over here and talk to President Obama. You and Richard Dawkins. Get together, sit down with the man, him and his wife, and talk to them. Could you do that for us? Because he keeps professing to be a Christian, and we really don't care. And then you got, got yeah, I feel so sorry for you people over there in Britain that you're idiotic government would allow such fallacy, would allow one group of people to punish each other with those archaic, you know, super ancient laws about chopping off hands and stoning their women if they commit adultery. Rape is adultery to them. They go and get raped by some guy who, uh, saw their skin. <laughs> he saw their hair. And he goes, Oh my God, I have to rape that woman because God said if I see their hair, I'm being seduced and it's wicked. Whatever reason they come up with, I don't know. They always come, <laughs> they always throw the old thing out as about the reason they cover their women up is because they have respect for them and they revere them. If you revered them, you'd want to see them, wouldn't you? What if you marry someone that you've never seen? All of a sudden, you get her in bed, and she weighs 300 freaking pounds. Huh? And it looks like Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> what would you do then, you dumbass? Jeez, for crying out loud. And you want to do that right in England? Oh, Pat, please. Try to teach these people a lesson. And stop trying to call us weirdos. You're the ones who want to rape every woman you see if she doesn't cover herself up. Make them walk behind you. Never let them drive. Because you think you're second-hand citizens. Third. You must think you're third-class citizens. Because I've seen you treat your horses better than you treat your women. Then you make men go to these stupid schools and all they do is... Whatever the hell they do with their Quran. That's all they do is learn the Quran. How do you learn any real science? And, well, never mind. I get it. It's no wonder your countries are all so backwards. You all look like you're still in the Middle Ages. Get a grip. But please don't bring it to our civilized countries. We're not going to go for it here in America. You are not going to be allowed to stone your women if they're raped. No, we're not going for it here. Pat, get on the job. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. You keep up the good work. You keep up those good, those great and intelligent videos, okay? You and Rich are the kid together. and really slam dunk people like Bill O'Reilly. and Oh, Bill O'Reilly. Wasn't that a good with Richard? <laughs> okay, well, we'll see you all later. Good night.